Hello and welcome back to Court Above the Cuts. I'm just down at Pewsham on the Wilson Bites Canal. We're just at the locks, which you can see just here. Lots of restoration work going on down here. But today has been a work party all about the environment. So we've been down here doing some hedge laying. It's an old practice where you chop the trees, uh, you lay them down. Uh, I'll try and show you a good example. So you can see here, you, you chop it, you lay the tree down at an angle so it's going up for away from where you are and what, what you've got here is the sap in the tree rises through the bark and comes up through so this being cut doesn't kill the tree you'll get growth coming up from the tree there and the tree now will grow upwards all the way this thickens the hedge up loads uh, you put stakes in the ground just to hold it back but you do try and weave it in together it creates a really thick hedgerow uh, which will grow higher and that allows plenty of wildlife to to move in basically and create some massive wildlife corridor the birds love it the, the sort of all little critters love it hi i'm howard yardy i'm the wildlife officer for the milks and chippenham and cowan branch of the wilts and barts canal trust we're at pewsham locks and we've been hedge laying and between the top lock and the bottom lock. We've got about a third of the way down, uh, which the, the hedge is mostly uh, hawthorn and blackthorn. And we've been working on it for about four or five uh, work days. So it's slow process and hard work. So the aim is to do this all down this section. The uh, sum's already been done down the bottom, the lock's down there, uh, and it's going to carry on through. It's uh, with the farmer's permission. Uh, he's, he can then come in and maintain it from the other side as well. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, you can kind of see already now how thick it is compared to where you've just got single trees growing up and stuff. Places where there are gaps, um, obviously depending, you, you know, you've got to take a lot out of the hedgerow um, that's, that's even not you know native or, or causing issues. So what will happen is in the, in the spaces, uh, they come and they're, they're put new whips in there and, uh, and eventually do the same to that uh, and create a, 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 a thicker hedgerow so it will be solid all the way down through. It's part of what the canal trusts do these days. It's not just a case of digging a canal through an old abandoned line or new line. It's all about promoting wildlife. So it's a good work party here today. We've, uh, we've done about 
12 to 15 meters of hedgerow today, uh, as well as some dedging, which uh, I'll, I'll talk about in a moment. When you hedge lay, uh, you produce a lot of brash, which is uh, the stuff you cut off trees and uh, bushes in order to uh, lay the hedge correctly. That brash traditionally would have been used on a bonfire, which in these days of climate change is not good news. So last year I introduced something called dead hedging, which we shortened the dedges. This is a dedge, it's all the debris. It looks a bit untidy at the moment, but it will be cut down and forced down into a dense thicket and we'll put uh, nest boxes in there. So thank you for watching. Please do get in that description. Uh, Click on the uh, click on the link there for the Walks and Bikes Canal Trust and join up. As I say, it's not just canal work that's being done here; it's everything. It's the whole environment, and this carries on throughout all the trusts. There's loads of planting going down in the meadows on the other end. Uh, there's a massive butterfly and bee route going through, uh, which Howard uh, is in charge of. Uh, the hope is to do that along the entire route of the canal.